Hey welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. Let's discuss Mullen. What an interesting day it was. I want to give you an overview of what I felt happened. We'll discuss some data points, shorts, data, and everything you should know. And with that, let's get straight to the point. So, Mullen closed 36.73% higher, a big day indeed. Its high was around 32.8 cents, and there was a significant trading volume of 138.49 million shares. The 37-day average is relevant here. The next significant thing for Mullen is the response from NASDAQ hearings or hearing panels, meaning whether they'll be sent to the OTC or if they'll receive a 180-day extension. I understand that many people were under the impression that once they receive notice of a 180-day extension, the stock price will rise, whether or not there's a drop in the stock price. However, some people believe that there should be some news with it, perhaps not just a leak of information. So this is another very interesting day, especially based on the work done by Schwartz. Now let me quickly tell you about Schwartz. Schwartz covered approximately 1.12 million shares, with about 33.36% of free float shares being shorted. But it's very likely that the actual percentage is around 20% to 21% because their outstanding share count is incorrect. Overall, approximately 32.31 million shares were shorted. The cost of borrowing is relatively low, compared to today, at 12.61%. However, if you combine the borrowed shares and the returned shares, it's almost around 26 million. In the 138.49 million shares traded on that day, around 26 million shares were linked to shorts, which is quite low compared to any other day. Everything is happening during the actual purchase, so I don't know, maybe brokerage and market makers turned on the buy today. Or perhaps there was some information that I'm not aware of, possibly some information theft. Again, there could be several different reasons for the stock price to rise, such as an increase in production, a surprise catalyst, someone acquiring the company or some kind of extension being related to it. There could be several factors that could justify it. But still, as Dubsterex says, there shouldn't be any leaked information that allows market makers and brokerages to buy. As often in Mullen case, there's a spike in the stock price, but it often quickly drops. So as soon as they start holding these gains, I realize today is different. And if you look at what happened during Power Hour, there was a significant increase in trading volume and another spike. So whatever happened today was legitimate buying. So it's quite strange. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think it's related to the NASDAQ extension? Could it be related to Amazon, FedEx, or some other big order? Could it be related to an operation or an extension? If you look at options activity, there was an increased demand for the $89,000 calls, while there were 67 inputs. So as I said, it was quite balanced. There wasn't any specific direction. If you look at calls for volume, there were 6,000 calls for the 50 cent strike price for the upcoming Friday. So it's clear that people are becoming more optimistic now. Currently, there's around 9,000 open interest at the 50 cent strike price, 3,000 at $1, and 514 at $1.50. So again, there are some interesting developments in Mullen case. And if you go check both indicators, momentum and stochastic, it shows that retail investors were quite active today as well. So both institutions and retail investors were buying perhaps due to a rumor or specific information. The stochastic indicator also suggests that the stock price is oversold. So some were saying maybe it's due to technicals, which were very suppressed and overdue for a value rally. But I don't feel like that's the case because often a value rally requires some news to kick it off. According to this, the last news was related to the lawsuit, which I don't think is the reason for the stock price increase. Speaking of lawsuit updates, it appears that on the 20th, there was a notice of case reassignment, where the case was transferred from Judge Torrest to Judge Dale. On Twitter, some people don't like this person and tend to view such actions as a wrongdoing. According to their statement, it seems they have a strong association with the ACLU. I, of course, don't know for sure if everything is happening at once. However, in cases like these, a resolution is typically reached. Very few cases actually make it to court. So, I don't think Dale will have an opportunity to make any dangerous decisions related to such organizations. So as I said, according to Mark, perhaps his settlement may come soon, but we'll have to wait and see. Similarly, we'll have to wait for any potential news about whether this was legally sound or not. But it seems like many big players are involved in this. 
So people are generally raising questions about the integrity of the SDC, which is quite unfortunate. But tell me, did you buy or sell today? What's your opinion? Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about Mullen stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.